uh, a little bit more personal. How many of you like going to a small store rather than the big supermarkets? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and why do you like to go there? Well, I, as a man, I just want to go in. I want to get out. Hold on. Uh, sometimes that's how we are at church, too. Amen? Mm -hmm. We just want to go in. We want to get what this. We want to go in, get what we want, and go out. But what if you didn't get what he wants? What if you didn't get what he wants? What if you left something on the shelf that he wanted you to get? What if you got something off the shelf he didn't want you to touch? What if we're not, if we're not doing what God wants us to do? In, in, the, in the words of the, of the prophet Forrest, gum. <laughs> Here's the thing. Think about this. If we're not doing what we've been called to do, Stupid. Why? How many of you want a blessing from God? Amen. Uh, and I'm, we're going to pray here in just a moment, and, and we're going to worship, and, and I've got a word for you today uh, for the body of Christ for sure. Uh, but Saturday, we had breakfast, and uh, we were in the book of Hebrews, and we've been in the book of Hebrews a little bit. And one of the things we find out is that God wants to bless us, and what happens when he blesses us, he, we have to cultivate the blessing. I don't have time. You, if you come tonight, you might hear some more about this. But really think about this. Once God plants a seed in your life, but that seed needs to be cultivated. You see, instead, in order to get the proper fruit, in order for it to be able to grow, cultivation also means it needs to be covered. It needs to be watered. It needs to be tended to. That the ground needs to be broken up. So that when the, listen, when the rain of the Holy Spirit comes, when, when that, la I'll call it the latter rain. Some of us don't even know what that means anymore. But when that latter rain comes, wait, our ground, the ground is so hard that it can't get to the seed. And yes, the seed dies, but it can never be revitalized because the, listen, the drenching, the water, the refreshing, and for us, the refreshing of the Spirit can never get to us. You know, he said, don't harden your hearts as in the day of the rebellion. Think about this. Do not harden your hearts. If your heart is hard, it, it is impossible for God to get a blessing through to you. Or it might be, it may hit you on the outside and sometimes that's all I want. I just want to, oh Lord, just give me a little splashing. Just, just, well, how about this? Just let me know that you're near. But I don't want, I don't want you to get too close. I don't want you to be too personal. Because I've got things, here's something. Lord, I've got some things you might not want to see. Oh. Father, today we come to you, Lord. We ask, Lord, that you would open up our eyes that we could see the beauty of your spirit, the beauty of grace, the beauty of your presence, the beauty of Jesus on the cross, and not just him on the cross, but what it means to, to come to understand the meaning of salvation, the meaning of the sacrifice that was made. And Lord, help us find our place in the kingdom. Help us find our place in the kingdom so that once again, God, the body of Christ, the church, could once again rise. Lord, not to a former glory, as it were, but God, that it could be re remade. God, that it could be reconciled. God, that it could be dressed up. In its current glory. And Lord, that you would be glorified and magnified in all that we say and do. Lord, that we would once again make, make Lord, our work with you and for you. And God, our presence together and our assembly together. Lord, a, a, a centerpiece of our lives. The Lord, it's not easy work. So God, I'm asking for you to help us, Lord, to strengthen us. To the Lord, to, to, to help us, Lord, to, to lift up our feeble hands. And God, that we will be able to glorify you once again. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. 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 So, you know what? We're going to do a responsive reading and then we'll do this part. So if you would all stand for the responsive reading this morning. And um, we are going to do some things the same, but there are some things we're going to do different today. Amen. Oh, Lord, let my soul 
As the day rises to meet the sun, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, everyone, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. And everybody said, Amen. Remember, your part is yellow, and my part is white, unless I ask you to join in. So I say, Amen. Amen. Sing and rejoice, O daughters of Zion. Sing your new song of freedom. Sing to the Lord with the heart, with the heart and the voice of song. song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout the joy before the King, of the Lord. Say that again. Do what? Shout, Shout the joy before the King, of the Lord. Amen. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it. The lands of those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands. And let the hills ring out the joy of the Lord. In righteousness shall he judge the world. And the people who the Sing and rejoice, O daughters of Zion. Sing a new song of freedom. I've heard an old, old story. How a Savior came from glory. How he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his glory of his precious blood atoning. And I repented of my sins and won the victory. Sing it. Oh, victory. Just for a little while, just to minister to you. 